Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sarah. I've been a family nurse practitioner for six years and I currently work here at The Urgent Care. So when I first started in The Urgent Care, I was pretty terrified to have to start interpreting x-rays. X-ray interpretation wasn't really covered much in my program, so I genuinely felt unprepared to start my new job at The Urgent Care. So if that's you right now, trust me, you're definitely not alone. So in today's video, I'm gonna take you guys behind the scenes and show you the entire process when ordering x-rays in the urgent care. I'm gonna answer some frequently asked questions and make sure that you stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna share some of the resources that I use to help prepare me for x-ray ordering and interpretation here at the urgent care. So first things first, before ordering any imaging, I always go and I see the patient first. So I know it might seem like a much quicker and faster process to get the patient complaint, order the x-ray in advance, get the imaging, review them, and then go and see the patient. But sometimes patients will come into the urgent care with one complaint, you'll get the imaging, and then you'll go into the room and see that patient, and it turns out you needed to get more imaging. There's nothing worse than seeing a patient after the x-ray was already completed and then realizing, oh man, I should have ordered more. <laughs> I'll give you guys an example. So a patient will come in with ankle pain, you'll go ahead and order the ankle x-ray, and then you go into the room to see the patient, and they actually have foot and ankle pain, and you in fact should have ordered foot x-rays and ankle x-rays, and so now you gotta turn the patient around to get more imaging, and you pretty much just waste time. So my tip would be see the patient first, do an exam, and at that point determine, okay, I'm gonna need these x-rays, and then go ahead and place your orders. So this is what our x-ray room looks like. So patients are taken here after I place the order for the x-ray and the medical assistant comes back into this area. They do have some resources here to help them in the positioning for patients, but as the medical provider, you definitely should have some basic knowledge of patient positioning and the appropriate views that you want for whatever x-ray it is that you're ordering. So x-rays here are taken by our medical assistants. We do not have x-ray techs here at the urgent care. Now, I can't speak for all urgent cares, but I can really only speak for the two that I work at, and it's the medical assistants who complete the imaging. So medical assistants do have a basic knowledge of x-rays, but mistakes can be made, okay? So I told you guys that I do the initial interpretation of the x-ray, and then I send the images over to the on-call radiologist. So if there is anything wrong with those images, the images will be interpreted as non-diagnostic, and the radiologist is not going to interpret those images. So if there's an issue with exposure, if there is artifact, if the positioning is incorrect, there's really not going to be an interpretation of those images, okay? So it's just something to be mindful of. As the provider, you're gonna be reviewing those images before sending them over to the radiologist. So sometimes, unfortunately, repeat imaging has to be obtained. And it's just one of those things that on occasion it is necessary to get repeat imaging. So as the provider, our role isn't necessarily this portion of things like positioning the patient, but I do advise having basic x-ray skills as a provider because sometimes the medical assistants are going to need your help. You want to be aware of the proper positioning for the x-ray that you're ordering and you want to have basic skills so that you can help guide the medical assistant if necessary. So the medical assistants will typically call me back into this area after they get the images and I review them on this screen and make sure I have all the views that I would like and make sure that the patient positioning is okay. And then the medical assistant goes ahead and submits the images for review. So it wasn't until my first day working in the urgent care that I found out I had the assistance of an on-call radiologist to help me with x-ray interpretation. I really thought that I was just kind of on my own. And so when I found out that I had a little bit of assistance, it was so reassuring for me and helped me feel so much more at ease. So something that I had to be sure of though is that it didn't turn into a crutch for me. So something that I do now just to keep my skill level up and to continue to always practice and ultimately become an expert at x-ray interpretation is I interpret the x-ray first, 
I diagnose the patient. And then when the radiology report comes in and it confirms my diagnosis, it's really reassuring and it makes me feel good because I didn't have to wait for them. It just gives me an extra level of confirmation that I'm on the right track and that I'm treating the patients appropriately. So if I were to give any tip to you, I would definitely say review the images yourself, diagnose the patient yourself, and then when the radiology report comes in and it confirms what you were thinking, you can kind of give yourself a pat on the back and you'll know that you were right. All right guys, so let's answer some frequently asked questions. What body part do I order x-ray imaging for the most? I would definitely say chest x-rays, ankle x-rays, and the next up probably would be the foot and the hand. So if there were going to be any areas that you wanna focus on as far as studying goes, I would definitely focus on those body parts first. How long does it typically take for the radiology report to come in? So it depends. So I work at two different urgent cares and I order the majority of my x-rays to be read stat by the radiologist. So today, for instance, I ordered an x-ray of the bilateral hips and I got the report within about five minutes of submitting the imaging. Now there have also been times where I submitted some images stat and I did not receive a report until about two hours later. So the times definitely do vary and that's why it's so important to feel confident and be able to take a look at the images yourself and to be able to diagnose the patient before getting that radiology report. The radiology report is really just meant to give you that reassurance and that confirmation. It's best to not necessarily wait for the report unless you're totally unsure about what you're seeing. So that brings me to the next question what to do if you're not sure of the results and you don't have a diagnosis for the patient, you have no idea what you're looking at, it's not clear or you're just unsure about something. And this is what was always taught to me actually in school and by other providers and that is when in doubt, just splint the patient and refer the patient to ortho. If you don't know, if you're unsure, if you're skeptical, splint the patient, refer them to ortho every time. I did a lot of self-study at home to prep for my urgent care position. Radiopedia.org became one of my favorite resources to use when studying. It's free and has actual cases with images. I also watch videos on YouTube explaining how to interpret chest x-rays or other musculoskeletal injuries step by step. And I'll leave the links to each of these channels in the video description. So if you're new to x-ray interpretation, just know it does get easier over time. Just practice and be patient with yourself and most importantly, trust your clinical judgment always. So if you found this video helpful, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.